Hey guys, it's Snareku back at it again with yet another problem. Before we begin, I just want to go ahead and apologize for the lack of content lately, guys. I've been very busy and I'm looking to better balance life, YouTube, work, and Twitch all at the same time. I'm extremely thankful for all the support I've been getting lately, and I just want to let you guys know that. Um, with that said, let's go ahead and get into today's video. So yeah, I was planning to do a furry video for you guys more than a few weeks ago now, and it feels like I was always hitting a brick wall in terms of creating the perfect content for you guys. Um, it's been hectic, but I think I may have finally found the solution. Today I will be answering questions furries have for normies. It's a YouTube video that currently has about 265,000 views on it, and so let's go ahead and dive right into the response. Why do you always think that mythical anthropomorphic creatures are less real than real anthropomorphic creatures? You know, that's species shaming. There's no such thing as real anthropomorphic creatures, my guy. There's no such thing. Anthropomorphic means that they walk on two legs and have the ability to act as humans or have the characteristics of human beings. Also, fake ones are clearly fake as it's in the name. The pretend ones that you make up in your little crazy, little diabolical mind, those are fake, okay? That's the reason why. Weirdo. Why do you guys always ask if I'm gay? What have I ever done to suggest that? Because you sound gay. You sound extremely gay. And not to mention, let's go ahead and take a look here. What's with the rainbow eyes, my guy? What's with the rainbow in the eyes? That is the pride flag, is it not? That's why people wonder if you're gay. You sound gay, you act gay, you look gay. Three requirements to be considered, I don't know, gay? How is it that in 2016, dragons in mainstream media are still predominantly portrayed as villains? That's dracophobic. I understand predominantly being portrayed as villains because dragons are typically seen as these beasts that are evil um, because they're powerful and they breathe fire, which is associated with, I don't know, bad things, destruction. Um, also, t as of 2016, dude, what about Game of Thrones? If you forgot about Game of Thrones, they're portrayed as good guys, okay? No spoilers here, not going to say anything about the latest season, but they're portrayed as good guys. Come on, man, get with it. Just because you are a dragon, or at least you think you are, doesn't mean that we all hate dragons. What the heck is wrong with you? How can you even watch Zootopia without immediately going, man, I really wish I was a freaking animal. What? What'd you say? How could you even watch Zootopia? How can you even watch Zootopia? How can you even watch Zootopia? What? Speak clearly. Enunciate. This is English, my guy. Why do you guys always ask if I'm Nick Wilde? We don't all look alike, speciesists. Yes, you do. You all wear fursuits, you all have the same googly eyes, you all look creepy as ever, and you all have a fetish with Five Nights at Freddy's. Why do you think that all furries just love to look at cartoon animal porn all the time? We do, but why do you think that? Um, because you do? We think it because you do. You literally just said that. This, this video has to be trolling. This video has to be trolling, guys. There is no way that this video is being serious right now. How do you watch Zootopia without wanting to fuck Nick Wilde? What? What kind of question is that? And who's Nick? Okay, you know what? I gotta Google it now. Are you serious right now? The Fox? Are you serious right now, my guy? The Fox? Seriously, saying that we all should want to get with this. Is this first off, it's a fox. Second off, isn't he like like three feet tall? Maybe even less than that, two feet tall? Third of all, why would you want a a male fox? See, see, this is my problem. This is my problem with you furries, okay? Not only does it, you know, is it an animal, okay, that, that you want a bone, but it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter to you guys the sex of that animal. If it's a guy, hey, let's go for it. If it's a girl, hey, even better, right? What is with that? That's weird. Let's continue on. Now be honest with me. Do your parents know that you're a normie? Do your parents know that you're a furry? Exactly. Why do you guys all think that you can just come up to us and touch your fur? That shit don't feel right. What, what are you talking about, your fur? You're not wearing fur unless you're talking about that beard. That terrible, terrible neck beard, my guy. Do something about that. Shave it. Fix it. It's so wrong on so many levels. Why do you always get so offended whenever we pass each other on the sidewalk? 
and I'm in a bird suit selling your child prescription medication outside your house. Stop being so judgmental. That's exactly why. That's why we get offended. That's why we're creeped out because not only are you in a bird suit, my guy, but you're targeting our kids. You guys are all pedophiles. That is the problem. You guys have to be trolling me right now. There's no way that you guys are seriously thinking that this is okay. And why are you outside my house, my dude? Like, what? Get out of here. Stop it. Get some help. Hey, Normis. It ain't that difficult to see that I'm husky. I'm not a fucking cat. Is it really that hard to get it right? What? Can you repeat the question? See that I'm husky. See that I'm husky. See that I'm husky. See that I'm husky. Are you from Canada? I can think. I think you're from Canada. With the way your mouth's opening, I'm gonna believe you're from Canada. Moving on. So, are you guys all like straight or something? Am, am I missing something here? Yes, we all are straight. Sorry, we're so straight. Yeah, you fucking queers. Why do you think it's okay to wear fur when that's part of our culture? It's our culture. That is, that's cultural appropriation, you racist. I'm so confused right now. Cultural appropriation of furries? Isn't furries a welcoming community that lets every single weirdo with or without fur join? Forget it. I'm, I'm moving on. You, you guys are really, really starting to worry me. So let me get this straight. You guys dress up without a fur suit? I I'm so confused. I thought you were that animal, so why are you wearing a fursuit to begin with? Please, answer me this. If you are that animal, why are you wearing a fursuit? I thought you were the fursuit. Come on, guys. Get your story straight. Do you guys have sex like what? that? What? What? Do you guys have sex? Why is it whenever people see an anime character with cat ears, they group them with furries? It's not the same thing. It's called Nekomimi. So can we stop, please? These weeaboos, man. They may not seem strange to you guys, but they're definitely strange to me. Nekomimi? Did you really just say that, my guy? Nekomimi means cat ears in Japanese. Yes, that's fine and good. Fine, fine and dandy. I understand what it means. But that doesn't make you any less of a furry if you, in real life, IRL, wear cat ears and walk around. It's the same thing as the guys at your freaking school who wear the cat tails and they just walk around like that's normal. I'm so confused. Why do y'all always assume that I'm gonna swipe your stuff? Not the same fox. I'm gonna assume that you're gonna swipe my stuff because you're a fox and everyone knows that swiper needs to stop swiping. Dora explained it to us when we were kids, it stuck with us forever. Swiper, it said no swiping, period. No swipe. Moving on. How is it so easy for you to criticize people who need to look like cartoon animals when you're perfectly comfortable looking like a human? It just means you're cis species and you need to check your privilege. I'm so confused. This, the, okay, have you guys noticed one one thing with this bald guy that's been appearing? He has the most outlandish questions for us all and tries to make us seem like we're the weird ones. Like that, that, that that's his, his, his source of questioning the entire time. He actually has no sustenance and what he's talking about, all he wants to do is try to shame you for being regular. And that's not really a question, you know? Why is it that human porn is okay, but dragon porn is generally frowned upon? Dragons are much more attractive than people. Fact. That is, um, that's subjective, my guy. Moving on. Why do you assume that just because I'm a furry, I have autism? Cause you sound like you have autism, my dude. I understand you have an accent and, and, and I'm gonna address that in a moment, but you sound like you have autism. You stutter a lot. You don't pronounce your words a lot. I mean, like you don't really communicate very well overall. And, and let, let, let's, let's address the accent that you had. I can't place your accent. I don't know if it's, if it's Spanish or Italian, something like a mix between the two. Bulgarian maybe I, I dude, I have no idea where to place your accent and that's simply because you are doing such a bad job at speaking English and it's probably because you actually have autism uh, um, um, I mean I uh, I do but, but not because I'm furry see there we go he just admitted it he has autism but it's not because he's a furry maybe because you have autism you're a furry I'm not saying that all people with autism become furries but what I'm saying is that you probably have a hundred and ten percent chance of becoming a furry and for the last time, can you stop tugging on my tail? Was that sexual? Let's go back. And for the last time, can you stop tugging on my tail? I'll ask you again, my guy. Is that sexual? Because you're not wearing a fursuit. 
So, is your tail in front of you? And what makes you think that we all want to tug that magical tail of yours? What? Just saying. What the fuck? Yeah, like I said, guys, these furries out here are getting bold. And that's the problem here. It's a group of sexually aroused, fur-toting pedophiles that are becoming bold. They say it's not always a sexual thing, but I know for an absolute fact that all these fuckers are attracted to Jessica Rabbit. And if you guys know anything about Jessica Rabbit, it's that she is definitely a rabbit, right? So yeah, we don't need them telling us to back off, be more open. These guys need to just chill, stop wearing mascot suits and go into their orgies or whatever else it is that they do. I'm telling you that there is a problem here, a furry revolution problem. These guys are growing in their community. Movies like Zootopia don't help either. Each and every single one of these weirdos have found solace in watching that movie. It's like bringing the furries into the main stream. Speaking of which, it kind of spawned this entire gameplay that I'm playing right here. So if you guys like this gameplay, if you guys want to see more of it, um, let me know. There's no way I'm going to be able to stream it because this game is messed up. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Tell me what you guys think about the furry problem down in the comment section below. Do you think I'm a furry? If you do, then you're goddamn right. I mean, JK, I'm not really a furry. I, I really, really wish I was, though, you know, to have the balls and the audacity to wear such a suit in public but yeah always hit me up in the comment section down below subscribe if you're new tongue punch that like button or drop kick that thumbs down button if you guys are a triggered furry but don't forget to check me out on twitch or on twitter um that's how you guys get updates on what i'm working on next and i will see each of you weird af mofos in the next video peace <laughs> Finding the strange, exposing the land, I put lovers be wet, they need to stay over there, these boys are insane, this is my game. Uh. Yeah, 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 on. Uh.